Song Haikyo declares to never speak to Song Junki again, fans offer full support. Song Haikyo and Song Junki were once a celebrated couple in the Korean entertainment industry. Currently, they are like water and fire, not getting along with each other. In an interview, when asked about how some celebrity couples treat each other like strangers after breaking up despite previously claiming they would remain friends or maintain a senior-junior relationship, Song Haikyo expressed, I cannot understand how tolerant one's heart must be to maintain a senior-junior relationship after breaking up. Shouldn't the two parties not meet each other unto death? Even the actress from Descendants of the Sun revealed that avoiding each other after a breakup is also a way to avoid awkward situations. Her friends share the same viewpoint. I think it's also a way of showing respect to their new partners. My friends say they would never do that because the ex at least helped them grow, Song Haikyo added. This shows that once they've gone their separate ways, Song Haikyo has no intention of meeting her ex again. Many people support this viewpoint. Not just Song Haikyo, but Song Junki was also previously quoted regarding the senior junior culture in Korean showbiz. However, currently, both are still at odds with each other. A few days ago, Song Haikyo visited a high end beef restaurant to support a friend. She praised the newly opened restaurant, which serves top quality Korean Hanwu beef. The restaurant, located in the Jongno district in central Seoul, belongs to the high end segment specializing in beef dishes. The meal set enjoyed by the actress included some Korean dishes and a few were Japanese style. One of them was table grilled bulgogi, a national dish beloved by many Koreans. The meat is mostly unseasoned and grilled directly over charcoal to preserve its natural sweetness, then dipped in a thick, flavorful samjang sauce. The meal also included sesame leaves, kimchi, raw shrimp sashimi, grilled beef with raw egg, and mixed beef rice with tofu and bean sprout soup. The restaurant uses tenderloin, a high-quality cut of beef, and the meat is hanwu, a luxury ingredient in Korea, as famous as Japan's wajiu and kobe, or America's black angus. Hanwu cattle are free-ranged in the countryside, resulting in delicious, lightly sweet meat. Like wajiu and kobe, hanwu cattle are specially cared for, including being fed beer, receiving massages, listening to classical music, and having a specialized diet. They are fed a lot of corn, while Wajiu cattle eat oats. Additionally, Hanwu farmers can make their own feed from fermented beer, barley, rice, whole grains, or pine needles. This diet contributes to the unique taste of Hanwu beef. At this restaurant, the beef undergoes a meticulous four-week aging process to enhance its flavor. Besides grilled bulgogi, Hanwu beef is also used in other dishes like French-style tartar, Japanese-style sukiyaki hot pot, French-style Chateaubriand steak, sandwich burgers, and more. The restaurant offers set courses. Lunch sets are priced at 95,001 per person. Dinner has three price levels, from 155,000 to 250,001 per person, placing it in the fine dining category. Currently, the restaurant serves dinner from 5 p.m., and on weekends, it opens for lunch from 11.30 a.m. It is rare for Song Haikyo to share detailed images and locations of her meals. Previously, any place she visited or checked into often became famous and attracted tourists. For example, Berthil and Ice Cream Shop in Paris became a hit after her visit many years ago. Miss Universe Vietnam 2019, Kai Duyen, also visited the shop to recreate a moment similar to her idols during her trip to Paris in 2019. The Rise and Fall of Song Haikyo and Song Junki, A Love Story to Divorce Saga In the glitzy world of Korean entertainment, few love stories captured the public's imagination like the romance between Song Haikyo and Song Junki. Their journey from on-screen chemistry to off-screen love affair, culminating in a fairy tale wedding, and eventually ending in divorce, is a narrative that resonates beyond the borders of South Korea. The Blossoming of Love The story began on the set of Descendants of the Sun, a 2016 Korean drama that achieved massive success both domestically and internationally. Song Joon-ki and Song Haikyo, playing the lead roles, captivated audiences with their palpable chemistry. Rumors of their real-life romance started to swirl but were initially denied by both parties. 
Their on-screen romance was characterized by intense emotional depth and a connection that seemed to transcend the boundaries of fiction. Fans were enamored by their interactions, both on and off the screen, eagerly dissecting every look, every touch the signs of a real-life romance. From real to real. In July 2017, the couple surprised everyone by announcing their engagement. This confirmation sent waves of excitement across their fan base. It was a moment of joy, as fans who had rooted for their love story saw their dreams materialize. The couple's statement was filled with warmth and hope, promising a future together built on mutual respect and love. The wedding, held in October 2017, was a star-studded affair, hailed as the wedding of the century in the Korean media. It was a private ceremony, but the glimpses shared with the public showcased a day filled with elegance, romance, and happiness. Trouble in paradise. However, the fairy tale started to show cracks. Reports began to emerge about possible strife in the marriage. The couple, known for their privacy, kept a tight lid on their personal life, leading to rampant speculation in the media and among fans. In June 2019, the shocking news broke Song Hai Kyo and Song Jun Ki were getting a divorce. The announcement was brief with both parties citing differences in personality as the reason for their separation. It was a stark contrast to their wedding, which was celebrated with such public joy and enthusiasm. Post-divorce dynamics. Post-divorce, both Song Hai Kyo and Song Jun Ki have maintained a dignified silence about their marriage and subsequent separation. However, in a rare moment of candor, Song Hai Kyo expressed her views on relationships post-breakup. In an interview, she questioned the feasibility of maintaining a friendly relationship with an ex, suggesting that a clean break is sometimes the best path forward. This statement reflects a pragmatic approach to personal relationships in the public eye. It's a perspective that has resonated with many, highlighting the complexities of maintaining public relationships while navigating personal heartaches. Legacy of a Love Story the relationship between Song Hai Kyo and Song Jun Ki remains a significant chapter in the annals of Korean pop culture. Their love story, while ending in heartache, brought to life a fairy tale romance that many could only dream of. In the end, their journey from a celebrated couple to individuals charting their separate parts is a poignant reminder of the unpredictable nature of love and relationships, especially under the relentless scrutiny of the public eye. Their saga, from love to divorce, will continue to be a topic of fascination and discussion, serving as a testament to the highs and lows of celebrity relationships and the enduring allure of love stories, even when they don't have the happy endings we often long for.